Today on Horseland, the Horseland team is invited to appear in a Heritage Day parade. We're in! We made it! But Chloe and Zoe's thoughtless behavior may ruin the event for everyone. Enough! Hmm. The Heritage Day parade! We're in! We made it! We are? All right! Cool! Heritage Day? Is that like bad hair day? <laughs> Not hardly. Heritage means everything that's in our past and makes us who we are today. It's our family history and culture. Hmm. For instance, I'm a collie from Scotland. You're a pot-bellied pig from Asia. You can say that again, especially the pot belly part. And she's a Turkish Angora. And a few other things. So coming from Scotland is your heritage? Oh, there's more. We sheepdogs are very proud of our herding instinct. I have it, just like my folks and all my ancestors did before me. It's part of my heritage, Tini. It makes me who I am. I'm still a little confused about it. That's okay. The girls don't know what heritage means either. But they're about to find out. The Horseland team is cordially invited to perform in the National Equestrian Heritage Day Parade. This is so great! I don't remember anything about a parade. Me neither. It's incredibly prestigious to be chosen. Out of thousands of equestrian teams across the country, only 10 are picked. Equestrian teams are required to go in costume. Huh? Costumes? What kind of costumes? Hey, you've got it aced, Nani. What are you talking about? I bet you have a whole closet full of cool, fringy, beaded Indian... Native American. Whatever. Why can't we just wear jodhpurs like we're going to a competition? Well, it's not really a competition. It's a heritage parade. Hey, I have a really awesome Mexican fiesta dress. I could wear an African caftan. They invited the Horseland team, and we're all going to be in different outfits? Sounds way cool to me. <sighs> it doesn't to me. Look, this obviously needs more thought. Let's think about it for a few days. Sounds good! Something handed down from one's ancestors or the past as a culture, characteristic, or tradition. I thought maybe defining the word heritage might help us decide what to wear. Look, I thought a lot about this. We all have a different heritage. I couldn't come up with anything that would give us a unified team look. We did. I give you the Horseland Heritage Day Extravaganza. <gasps> Enough! What we were thinking is, Nani's heritage is Native American, so she can wear her Cherokee dress. And as the new Americans, the rest of us can do our own fresh fashionista spin on it. Is it not genius? Genius wasn't really the word I was thinking of. I started with my all-time fave Pocahontas costume from Halloween. A Halloween costume, exactly. The Cherokee ceremonial dress is not a costume. And for you to compare it to this, this, you're making a joke of me and my people. Don't you realize that? We thought it honored your people. Chloe, it's just not a good idea. Ditto. Hey, come on, it needs a few more sequins, but it's getting there. And it solves the problem of unifying the team look. We really didn't mean to diss anyone's, you know, heritage. <gasps> I'm sorry, Nani, but I don't understand why you're so upset. 
obviously. In Girl Trackers, I always loved reading all that cool and... er... Native American lore. It was my very favorite merit badge. How come what George Washington and Abraham Lincoln did is history, and what Pocahontas and Sacagawea did is lore? Wow. I never thought of it that way before. Me neither. Uh-uh. Good point, Nani. But we didn't mean anything wrong. That's right. No one's listening to us. Nani obviously doesn't like your idea, Zoe, and the rest of us don't either. Okay, but can't we adapt the costumes somehow to make them work? Where's Nani? Oh, we worked so hard putting these together. We've hurt her feelings. We have to find her. Nani? Nani! Nani! Look! There she is! Where could she be going? Come on, Sunburst. We're out of here. Why'd she get so upset? I love this costume. Forget all that. It's getting late and Nani doesn't know those trails like we do. Come on! I know, Sunburst. I should have stuck around and tried to make them see why I was upset. But those two are just so... so clueless. <laughs> Calm down, boy. It's just the wind. Look, boy. Right out there is Horseland. We're heading back, all right? Hmm. Four trails to choose from. Don't worry, Sunburst. We'll figure this out. Fresh hoof tracks. That's got to be you. All we have to do is follow them back. Hey, boy. That was scary. Well, we can't go that way. Maybe this one will take us to Horseland, too. Still, I'd better mark which one I'm taking. Sunburst, let's get home. It's getting dark. Let's split up. Everyone's flashlight working? Cell phones on? Zoe, Chloe, and I'll take the north trail. Fine. Molly and I'll go south. Stay in touch. Hey, yeah! Let's go! Got it, girl! Go, Pepper! It's all right, Sunburst. Horseland's got to be around the next bend. I hope. This one goes east. Same direction as Horseland. Better mark which one I'm taking, though. There. Oh, one more clue. This better be right. That's my last bullet. Crossing is just around this turn. Whoa, girl! How are we going to get through? Not this way. Wait. What's that? There, what is it? I think it's Nani's barrette. But how do we get over there? We'll have to backtrack. And with these trees blowing down, maybe we should be riding together. Molly, Nani left a trail marker at the crossing. It's all right now, 
boy. A, a cave! Come on, let's get out of this wind. Well, look at this cozy spot. Looks like we aren't the first visitors here. I could try starting a fire. Her barrette. That's Nani's, all right. Yeah, come on, girl, that way. Here goes. <sighs> okay, Sunburst, I'll keep trying. Another trail marker! Nami left another hair clip! Hey, ya! Yeah. Come on, Button! Come on, Pepper! Let's ride! Look! Someone's been through here! Why would she go off the trail? Maybe she didn't have any choice. Nani? Can you hear mm. us? Nani! <sighs> <sighs> this is hard. <laughs> Nani? Nani? <laughs> I'm here, Nani! Someone's out there! Hello? Is anybody there? Nani! Are you all right? I'm so glad you came. When that tree fell down, I didn't know how to get back. Oh, hi, Zoe. Hi, Chloe. Here! You built trail markers, just like we learned to do in Girl Trackers. Is that a Cherokee thing, too? <laughs> no, I learned about them in Girl Trackers, just like you. Come on, you guys. Let's get out of the wind. Wow! What a cool place! If we only had a fire! I tried to start one. I never was too good at that in Girl Trackers. Me neither. Ahem. I may be a Girl Tracker dropout, but I think I can help. My Girl Tracker dropout emergency survival kit. Everything you need in case of trouble. Cool! Wait. Isn't that nail polish? Why, sure. If I chip a nail, I want to fix it. Lip gloss? Spray in streaks? How's this going to help us? I did keep some of the Girl Tracker stuff. Matches! Yes! All right, Zoe! Good work, Zoe! Thank you, Zoe. I'll keep my water handy in case we need to put it out in a hurry. Good idea. I guess we better wait this out with that tree falling and all. I'll call the stables. Let them know we're going to be late. Got any marshmallows in that kit of yours? And maybe some graham crackers and chocolate too? Mmm. I wish, while we're fantasizing, how about air beds, a DVD player, and some steaming hot cocoa? With whipped cream. And chocolate sprinkles on top. I'm glad they're finally speaking to each other. Getting stuck here might be just what these girls need. Hey, look! You think those are gold flecks? Maybe. Don't know. No. Cool place. Whoa, what's this? It's some kind of weird drawing. That's a pictograph. What's that? It's like email from 5000 BC. Some call it art. Art? Looks like a dog. You know any dogs with horns? I'd say a deer. Or a bighorn sheep. I think they used to live around here. Wow! Did your people make this? <laughs> My people? The Cherokees never lived around here. But then, who drew this? What? I'm supposed to be the expert on all things Native American? Okay, look. It's hard to say who drew this. Many tribes lived and hunted around here over the years. We have the time. Why don't you tell us more about them? I mean, if you don't mind. I know what they taught us in school. But there's a whole lot more to know, isn't there? <laughs> well, what do you want to know? Come on, let's sit by the fire where it's warm. A 
I guess I always thought Native Americans were, well, one big tribe. Oh, no. There are over 550 tribes in the U.S. <gasps> really? Wow. I've only heard of 10 or so. Iroquois, Cherokee, Sioux, Navajo, Hopi, Chippewa, Cheyenne, Comanche, Shoshone. Geronimo! He was an Apache, right? The Mohawks. They have the same name as the haircut. Ignore her. I'll try. What else? Wait, little spa time. What? Multitasking, what's wrong with that? Fine by me. So, what else do you want to know? I want to hear about vision quests. I saw a movie about them. I want to hear about the Anasazi. They were a great civilization and then they just vanished, right? Boring. I want to know where you get all that cool silver and turquoise bling. <laughs> <laughs> what? The Anasazi didn't vanish. They built all their wonderful cliff houses and had to move someplace else. Probably because of a really bad drought. Maybe like the one they're having now in the southwest. Did you hear that? Back there. But there's nothing there. Were they vampire bats? <laughs> Zoe, they eat mosquitoes, not teenage girls. Really? really? Really. Our fire must have disturbed them. Let's hope our fire keeps them away till the wind stops. We still haven't figured out what we're going to do about the heritage parade. Like, I'm English American, so I'm supposed to wear a red coat? <laughs> Sorry, I was thinking about Bailey. He's Scottish-American, right? Can you imagine him in a kilt? <laughs> Too funny. Forget Bailey. What about us? Our family tree's a big mishmash. German, Czech, Danish, French, even some Latvian and Ukrainian. What kind of costume would that be? A really colorful patchwork jacket? Wow, your family's like a melting pot. That's what everyone says the United States is all about. A melting pot. Maybe there is a way to honor our different heritages and actually look like a team. And next we have the Horseland Equestrian Team with their own unique take on the spirit of our American heritage, which is exemplified by the many heritages represented on the Horseland Team. First, we have Sarah Whitney representing English Americans. Next, we have Molly Washington, representing African Americans. And here on behalf of Mexican Americans, Alma Rodriguez. Representing a melting pot of European heritage, Zoe and Chloe Stilton. And finally, the newest member of the Horseland team, proudly representing America's first people and the Cherokee Nation, Nani Cloud. On three. One, two, three! Okay, I admit it. This is way better than my Pocahontas costume. <laughs> So, Tina, do you get what heritage is all about now? Yes, and it's not just my heritage that's important, but everybody's. Because it's not just our past, it's what makes us who we are now. And it's really something to... to... <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> 
It's something to be proud of. Even for a Krabby Kitty who probably has an old feather duster in her heritage. <laughs> <laughs>